Our other top story tonight, they are moving the floats, getting ready for the Tournament of Roses. But there was a glitch tonight getting to the parade route. And thousands of people are camping in Pasadena tonight, ready to ring in the new year and see the parade. And here is a live shot from Brazil where it just turned midnight. Look at all those fireworks. Mm. Thousands of people celebrating on Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro to ring in 2018. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. I'm Andrea Fuji. And I'm Peter Dowd. Happy New Year's Eve. We are counting down to New Year's and the Tournament of Roses. We have live team coverage beginning with CBS 2's Christy Fajardo in Pasadena. Hey, Christy. Hey, you know what? Moving the floats to Pasadena, well, it is a massive undertaking, and hundreds of people come out just to watch those floats navigate this intersection. And this year, there were a few hiccups. In fact, we want to show you some video of what it looked like earlier. At one point, apparently, a car was parked blocking the path. Police actually had to track down the owner to move it, and then there was another snafu. But now, about two dozen floats are on their way to Pasadena, making the 19-mile journey, which will take a total of seven hours. In Irwindale, the Rose Parade floats are ready for their photo op. Every speck of spice, every grain of rice, every petal is in place. They've been looked over, judged, and are on the move, albeit slowly. We get there and there's like almost no flowers come on. The worst thing that happens is we had a low tree branch because somebody hasn't trimmed a tree or something to that nature. That's because the floats move at a glacial pace, guided by drivers tucked beneath the flowers, crossing a mere three miles an hour. And this is what they see all along the way to Pasadena. It's the parade before the parade, and local Becky Guzman takes in every intricate detail of these works of art. That was spectacular to be up close and personal with it. And, you know, I'm, it's amazing. Do you ever like just think, wow, you know, there's people all over the country watching this, and I get to see it like this? Yeah, we're privileged. We're, we're blessed. But with floats at this scale, things can and do go wrong. Just ask Lucy Diaz, who's been watching them go by for eight years. Last year they had a problem with the with one float turning from there to there. So it was exciting though, you know, see if there was if there's a challenge. But despite challenges, come New Year's Day, these showstoppers will roll down the Rose Parade and the mosaic of flowers, grains, even spices will dazzle. And as this float says, the story lives on. Does it ever lose its luster for you? No, I'm here. And the route to Pasadena is fraught with obstacles like the one you see over there, that street sign. There was actually people out here with poles holding those up so that the floats could get underneath them. And in all, the parade features about three dozen floats. The bulk of those are made right here in Irwindale by Phoenix and Fiesta floats, and they are spectacular. Happy New Year's, everyone. Back to you. Happy New Year to you, too, Christy. So wonderful to mm -hmm. see all that. Thanks so much.